Well, I think the answer to that, Pat, will most likely be more than some person, could be a number. We do get a glimpse into this case through these documents. Now, the state is required to release information and documents whenever there are contacts between the agency, the Department of Children and Family Services, and the families involved in these. That's what we got today. A lot of redactions, but a lot of information in between them. This 117-page group of documents details the heartbreaking roadmap of four-year-old Noah Quattro's short and tragic life. We see that Noah was taken away from his parents even before he had a name. It was August 21st, 2014, the day he was born, when records show he was placed in protective custody. The child, baby boy, is at threat of physical abuse, the documents go on to say. Another comment adds, one or more children will likely be in danger of immediate or serious harm. He would soon be reunited with his family. And from there, records show a long list of allegations of abuse and neglect involving Noah and his three brothers and sisters, dating from before he was born until the day he died. There are allegations of domestic violence. The father drinks and beats the mother in front of the children, one person reported, and sometimes he throws the mother and children out onto the street. This risk assessment, dated less than a month before Noah died, notes there had been two prior abuse investigations, one open Child Protective Services case, prior substantiated physical abuse of a child, current neglect, physical and or emotional abuse of a child going on inside Noah's home, and a staff person comments there are current concerns for the mother's mental health. The report's conclusion, Neglect risk level very high. Abuse risk level very high. Final risk level very high. Despite these ominous findings, Noah was not placed into protective custody, not this time. And 18 days later, he died. The Department of Children and Family Services aren't commenting on this case because investigations are underway, including a homicide investigation by the Sheriff's Department. But in July, DCFS Director Bobby Cagle had this to say about his investigation into how Noah Quattro's case was handled. There are some red flags that I want answers on in the case, and we're working on that right now. As it stands right now, Noah's death is labeled suspicious. The coroner has not yet released the autopsy report. Live in Koreatown, Randy Page, CBS 2 News. Back to you. All right, thank you, Randy.